Good day, YouTubers, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls from all around the world. We have closed up the last of the gaps, and slivers, cracks, and openings on both sides of the hull. You can see here in the instructions the last load of boards that were placed and I did it a little bit different but the same idea filling in the last of the boards in this area here these boards were continuous instead of little cut pieces I carried these on straight over to the end file them off. So we get down into this area after we've got all the last of the boards put on. Those are a half a millimeter thick by five millimeters. No. Now I gotta look at the planking again. What was that? Yeah, five by one and a half. The next ones we put on are going to be the half millimeter by five. So these are one and a half millimeters thick. And that was one of the last planking boards we installed. So the next step here in the instructions after we get those openings closed up with the last boards is sanding and then after sanding put this little rudder plate on the butt there of where the rudder is going to go but the plate needs to be recessed so that the front of it is flush. So we had to do a little cutting and layout to get that recess the amount that we want for the thickness of that board. And I did install that. And I actually used a piece of walnut that was left over from the HMS Bounty build to put that rudder plate on so it's a darker wood it'll be stronger too so the next section after we're done sanding which I've sort of got a rough sanding done on one side of the ship. I've got to sand the other side yet. The next section is these are the 0.5 millimeter thick by 5 millimeter boards and sometimes they would call those rubbing stakes or um, finish planking it goes over the rough planking there's probably some other terminology for that but from the instructions here it looks like those go down close to where the water line is going to be so it's going below the edge of the bow sprit deck about four boards below it so I would assume that water line is in this area somewhere and it doesn't go above that railing deck the main deck railing area 
these are still the rough planking up above there. So that'll be what we work on next week after I finish sanding is getting all those 0.5 millimeter boards rubbing stakes on and it looks like we're using an offset pattern as we install them <coughs> excuse me then we get to change to something new We've been working these planks for the last couple months almost. We get to change to something new. Isn't that going to be exciting? We get to do some shaping, cutting and uh, sizing, and we start doing a little bit of decoration work. Oh my gosh, it's going to be a nice change of pace, isn't it? some staining so that's what we got to look forward to after we finish all these rubbing stakes and let's assume four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve so at least twelve high times 3 is 36 on one side and another 36 on the other side so we got 72 boards to go rubbing stakes they'll be a lot quicker as far as installing because the half millimeter boards are very pliable and uh, a lot easier to work with so let me turn on the shop lights is I got the shop lights off for showing you these instructions on the screen there and you can see the beginning of the sanding has been started. Now I've got one side roughly sanded. I'm going to still do a little more to make it really smooth because there is a couple areas where one plank is sticking up a little higher than the one next to it. I want to try to get them down to Move to the touch and you can see the other side hasn't been sanded yet see that uh, step effect there With the boards as they came around the front and then after we sanded how much better that came out nice and smooth but I still want to do a little bit more sanding in areas like that to get that nice and smooth but there is the closure of all the work we've been doing for weeks now I worked on this Monday for about six hours as last week we left off finishing one side and the other side was not closed in at all from the keel line up to about here so you got one two three four five six seven and those were all straight boards all the way to the ends and then we started doing the little uh liver cut pieces in there to fill in the last little spots so it came out really good 
we just got a lot of sanding to do and I'm using um, what is this 120 oh 80 80 grit because there's a lot of um, material to remove especially in these areas where there's a step effect the board's sticking out so I get all that material removed and then I switch over to a, a 120, 140, 180 grit to do the final and then a hand sanding at the very end. I've been a little bit of hand sanding ahead of time just to get a feel for it with this guy here and then some regular uh, pieces in my hand. This is 220 grit, and uh, it worked really good, but it's a lot of work to get uh, like I want, nice and smooth. This side here is probably 80%, 90% done. In some areas it's 100% done, but other areas I got a little more work to do before I quit sanding it so I'm going to work on sanding this other side today get the rough sanding done and then do some fine sanding later on half my day's already gone I went to men's bible study breakfast this morning and uh, spent some time fellowship them with the guys so <clears throat> what else is new <laughs> it's always something new when we post videos um, <clears throat> I went with my dad yesterday and got some more dirt so in last week's video, this was a few logs and rotten stuff in the bottom, and now we got, this is regular dirt. We're going to mix some uh, cow manure, black cow, and potting soil. We'll mix that together a couple layers down in this regular dirt. And we'll also mix some peat moss in there too to give this regular dirt some body so it's easy for the roots to grow and it's got a lot of nutritional value for the plants. And then we got these beds finished filling with the peat moss and potting soil and cow manure and some mill organite, which is human waste processed into a fertilizer. And that works really good with plants and vegetables. And we got zucchini, green beans, radishes here in the front. Um, more zucchini, cucumbers, and I think we're going to put some squash in this one. We got some starters, we got a whole bunch of starters going from seed. Um, somewhere. My wife must have them on the porch or something. Yeah, there's some starters there and some more in her shed. Uh, we'll start them from seed in the dark and then once they start popping up, we uh, nurse them in the greenhouse for a while and then bring them out in the sun. So the chickens are out this morning enjoying their little coop 
run. We got six, six chickens running around in there. This chicken wire gets in the way of the camera, so I'm trying to find a good spot. They're starting to fly. Be real curious. <laughs> and they follow each other. Wherever one goes, the rest of them run after it. I guess that's standard for chicken action. In and out all day long. They're growing fast, so we still got a little rearranging to do in here, and we got the ducks separated. They must be outside right now. Oh yeah, they're over here napping. <coughs> I got them a little pool set up in the corner. They've been in there swimming around. Look how big they are. Man, they've grown a month or two's time. They've tripled, quadrupled in size. They're almost full grown. You can tell they've been in the water. They're all scrubby looking. So that's the chicken update. And the plant update. Now I gotta get the sanding. Say hello, Roger Ramjet man. Okay, I think I got the sanding done. Made a dusty mess in here. Is there a red cardinal working on some sunflower seeds? So I got the first two rubbing stakes on. And I'm going to let them hang over. A little bit on both ends so we'll sand and cut those off later but because the ends are have a little angle to them and I don't want to try to pre-fit it's easier just to cut them off later and that's the first one up there onto the railing and then one below it, and I got 10 more to go, I think. So my trick for installation of these, which is going pretty quick, is I pin down a sheet of parchment paper, and then I take a plank ready to install, and using my... Gorilla Glue... Should be called Roger Ramjet Man Glue, eh? Um, I got a brush here that's about the same width as the plank. And I get a liberal amount on there and hold one end with my fingernail and give it a thin, complete coat 
for the whole length of the board with a few strokes and then pick the board up with the tweezers and go over there and install it on the ship and because we're working on a nice flat surface it's been sanded and all they're going on really easy and smooth and I just make sure after I get it on there that the seam or joint is butted together tight and the edges are butted together tight before I go to the next board but it does go much quicker than the old planking so hopefully we can get some more of that done today and we'll film some of that going next week because there's 72 boards to go minus six so we got a lot of boards to put on but they're going to go on pretty quick compared to the other planking that we were doing so I do believe the sanding is good enough for stain and paint I'm not really thinking that I need to do any wood filler uh, if you got any comments don't hesitate to give me some input that's where we're at this week rubbing steaks are underway Working overtime. Now, I've got to get the ducks to go in before it gets dark. They like being outside. Chickens knocked over their little practice rack for roosting. They slip out. Tried to sleep outside last night. Mufasa tried to push the door open. He wants duck for dinner. Go on. Go on in. Go on. There you go. Cause the storm is coming. It's gonna get it's gonna get dark pretty soon. It's just a matter of time. My luck they'll go back out again before the door closes. Nothing like a little action dog. Action chicks. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now I just cleaned their water. So they got clean water and plenty of feed. And the chicks do too. Mother Nature is bearing down on us. Good old Florida late afternoon rainstorm.
enough to blow the treehouse out of the tree. 